Brian Koberger, the suspect in custody for the four University of Idaho student murders, is listed as a Ph.D. student at Washington State University studying criminology. He was also listed as having graduated with a Master's of Arts in Criminal Justice from DeSales University in Pennsylvania. Washington State University is only 14 minutes from 1122 King Road, which is the residence where the four students were murdered. Brian Koberger was arrested for four counts of first-degree murder. He was studying for his Ph.D. in criminal justice at Washington State University. Brian had his office at Wilson Short Hall, and right after the murders, he attended class. Before coming to Wazoo, he was taught by a famous professor named Dr. Katherine Ramsland at DeSales University of Pennsylvania. She is the author that published How to Catch a Killer and The Mind of a Murderer. I've just sprinted to my car in the pissing down rain. Yo, we've got him. We've got a fucking suspect. 25 minutes ago, a 25-year-old man has been arrested Friday morning in Pennsylvania. This is as well, the, the Moscow police have just posted something saying huge press conference tonight. Apparently, the person that's been arrested, they used a SWAT team, they went in there this morning and he's already been before a judge. What the fuck? I've literally for weeks now, I've wanted nothing more than justice for these people. The person that's done this as well has obviously been chilling, thinking he's outsmarted the police and he's just been watching, laying low, enjoying Christmas. I am fucking glad this person has been found. So it, it's only a suspect so far, but 25 year old man was arrested Friday morning in Pennsylvania. I'm not even going to say it, Pinocchio Mountains in connection with the uh, murders of four University of Idaho students. Law enforcement so sources told ABC News. Sources said that the authorities knew who they were looking for and they tracked the man down to Pennsylvania. That explains why the police chief said about Northwest and uh, looking all over Idaho. A SWAT team entered the location of where he was staying and took him into custody. This is literally the start of the fucking... E this is the beginning of the end and I am so, so happy that we finally might get some justice for these families. Fuck this guy. Now, something to back this up a tiny bit more as well is that tonight at 9 p.m. UK time, so roughly maybe around 1 p.m. for you guys lunchtime in America, we are getting a press conference, a huge press conference from Idaho's Moscow Police Department. This might finally be the case unraveling. Also, massive thanks and a massive shout out to someone on Instagram, but they passed me the name of the person who's been arrested. If you want the name of this person as well, feel free to message me on Instagram and I'll hand it over. I live in a college town and I've worked with uh, probably at least 10 Sigma Chi members. And, you know, the one thing that every single one of them, I, I, I feel like has asked me is if you were going to kill somebody, how would you get away with it? And I just wonder if maybe if maybe this is nothing more than some kid in a fraternity trying to prove himself. And that was it. So you said some, you worked with five or six Sigma Chi kids and they asked you how, if you can kill somebody, they can get away with it. Yeah. Did I hear that right? Yeah. Oh and my God. I know that's a thing that just like maybe people say trying to like have interesting conversation, but like, just in my head, it's like, this is, it's always been these, these dudes that were in, in the fraternity. Hmm. And, and so it makes me wonder if it's a thing that that's in their, in their like culture that they ask to see how smart you are and whatever, and what kind of answer you come up with. And someone took it too far. Oh, uh, who? Uh, what? What kind of dudes would ask you that? What? Well, that, that's, that's crazy as shit, man. That's a that's an outrageous statement, man. I, I mean, I'd write their names down. Yeah, man. Like I, uh, like I, like you know, I like horror movies and all that kind of stuff, and I'll watch those kind of things. But like when someone like in person says some stuff like that, it's kind of like jarring. It's like, what? Why are you saying stop something like the that? Cow. Yeah, that's I uh, man, who who said that to you? Breaking news, authorities have provided an update for the first time in seven days. The last update provided was on December 20th, and I have been checking every day, every hour since. As of today, December 27th, they have backdated the 22nd and the 24th. 
The update states that they are processing over 7,000 email tips, over 4,000 phone tips, and over 4,000 digital media submissions. Investigators say they do believe that someone holds the information that could be the key to solving this case. They said digital submissions of tips and leads will not be made public. Furthermore, they stated that progress continues to locate the 2011 to 2013 white Hyundai Elantra. They said at this time they have identified over 22,000 matching vehicles. They are asking that if anyone knows anyone who drives that vehicle or has been driving that vehicle since the crime took place to please contact them. They said no suspect has been identified and they will only be releasing information that does not impede on the investigation. They said updates will be available when new information is available to be released. I'll keep you guys updated. What do you think? Drop in the comments. Okay, I got goosebumps. Don't mind the way I look, I just woke up. But right now, happening right now on 1230, news stations are popping up saying that an arrest has been made for the Idaho murders. Um, I just pulled this article, let me show you. A 25-year-old man has been arrested in Pennsylvania in connection with the stabbing deaths of the Idaho University students whose bodies were found in a rental home near the campus last month. Multiple law enforcement sources with direct knowledge of the investigation said Friday. And then it says, the sources said the man was apprehended in the Scranton area Friday morning. Authorities are expected to hold a news conference on the case later today. <sighs> yes. Breaking news, a suspect has been arrested in connection to the University of Idaho murders. A 25-year-old man has been arrested in Pennsylvania in connection with the murders of the four University of Idaho students. No name or no further information has been released as of yet. However, the Moscow police will be holding a press conference today at 1 p.m. MST, so that's 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and they will be discussing major developments in the case. I will be covering all of this. Stay tuned. Follow me for more. I am glad that we're finally getting breaking news and that they do have someone in custody. Breaking news. Authorities now say that the suspect in the Idaho College campus crime is the owner of the Hyundai Elantra. Authorities say they were able to narrow down their search for the suspect after tracing his ownership of the white Hyundai Elantra that was seen in the area the day the crime took place. Additionally, his DNA has also been matched to genetic material recovered from the off-campus home. An FBI surveillance team from the Philadelphia field office said they had been following him for four days. I'll keep you guys updated. What do you think? Drop in the comments. thinking in the sauna. They've already got a statement. They rammed his door down at 3 a.m. I'm willing to bet the FBI flew an interrogator out there and had them interrogate him. They're some of the best in the world. I'm a seasoned interrogator and if one of them asked if they could interrogate my suspect, I'd be like, sure. That's why he waived the extradition hearing. That's why they froze the house. Because he's going to help walk the interrogators through it. That's probably why he's on suicide watch too. I know what his public defender said. That's what he's supposed to say. And also, I could be completely wrong. But if he lawyered up, why freeze the house? I may go live at 8 p.m. Eastern and talk about it. Just as a reminder, I'm trying to build my other account up, and that's where I'll be putting all my podcasts. If you could give me a follow and a listen, I'd really appreciate it.